Paul D. Hubbard, an ordinary name with an extraordinary impact on American football, a game-changer who turned his disability into an advantage. Born in the late 19th century, Hubbard was just like any other young boy with dreams in his eyes and a love for sports in his heart. But there was something that set him apart, something that would later become the catalyst for his unique contribution to American football. You see, Hubbard was deaf. He went on to play as a quarterback for Gallaudet University. Now, you might be wondering how his deafness could possibly influence a sport like football. Well, the answer lies in a strategy we all know and love today, the huddle. Yes, the modern football huddle we see in every game was created by Hubbard. A true game changer, Hubbard's story begins just like any other, in the humble beginnings of childhood. Born in the late 19th century, young Paul D. Hubbard, despite being deaf, was a ball of energy, always ready to play, always ready to compete. His love for sports was evident early on, but it was the game of football that really caught his attention. The way the players moved, the strategy, the sheer physicality of the game, it all fascinated him. He was drawn to it like a moth to a flame. Despite his disability, Hubbard was never one to back down from a challenge, a trait that would serve him well in his football career. Hubbard's determination and love for football led him to Gallaudet University, a renowned institution for the deaf and hard of hearing, where he would make his mark. At Gallaudet, Hubbard became an integral part of the Bison football team. His talent was undeniable, but it was his leadership that truly shone. As the quarterback he was at the helm, steering his team through every play, every challenge. Hubbard's stats tell a story beyond the numbers. They speak of a player who gave everything on the field and then some. He was a force to be reckoned with. His time at Gallaudet wasn't just about personal growth, but about shaping the game of football itself. It was at Gallaudet that Hubbard would revolutionize American football. In a game of strategy, communication is key. As a deaf quarterback, Hubbard faced a peculiar conundrum. He needed to convey complex plays to his team without the opposing side intercepting his signals. His solution was as elegant as it was simple, the huddle. This innovative strategy allowed Hubbard and his team to discuss plays in close proximity, using sign language without fear of their plans being deciphered by the opposition. The huddle was born out of necessity but its impact was far-reaching. It introduced a new level of secrecy and strategy into the game, allowing for more complex plays and tactics to be employed. This seemingly simple change made a remarkable difference. Communication among players improved, the game became more strategic, and it brought a new layer of excitement for the spectators. Hubbard's ingenious solution not only addressed his personal challenge, but also transformed the game of American football forever. Paul D. Hubbard's story is one of innovation and lasting impact. This remarkable man, who played quarterback for Gallaudet University in the late 19th century, took what some might see as a limitation, and turned it into a game-changing innovation. Despite being deaf, Hubbard didn't let his disability hinder his passion for football. Instead, he used it to create the huddle that we all know and use today. His career was one of determination and skill, impressing both his teammates and opponents with his prowess on the field. As a Gallaudet Bison, he exemplified the spirit of the game and set a high bar for future players. Hubbard's legacy is far-reaching. His creation, the huddle, has become a fundamental aspect of football, used in every game, at every level, around the world. In the end, it was not his deafness that defined Paul D. Hubbard's life, but his ability to transform a challenge into an opportunity, leaving a lasting impact on the world of American football.